when we approach legacy, I think Triple H has done it as good or better than anybody else. A name that must be considered in the greatest of all time. I've done everything that there is to do. Every accolade, every championship. And his dedication to WWE, that puts him in a class by himself. Triple H and I have had some epic, epic matches. Two icons in their prime. I have developed, uh, not by my choosing, the moniker of one of the most polarizing superstars in the history of WWE. I was new. I was brash. Yeah. People still really enjoyed the WWE the way it was. I was a beacon of change that they didn't want. When you introduce the cerebral assassin into that equation, Triple H, the game, he was very aware of the environment and how to poke the bear of the WWE universe to get them to really turn against me, to paint me in the light of like, this young kid doesn't have the ability that I have. And doesn't belong here, and I hear you, you don't want him here. So allow me to use that as a psychological advantage when I go into these, these contests. It's never been personal between you and me. What it comes down to is being the best. WrestleMania 22, Triple H was the standard and it was a proving ground for me. A lot of people questioned, do I belong? Fast forward to 2008, I think now, you can view Triple H versus myself as an attraction, not an achievement. The two most important figures in WWE today. 2008 was, man, I can't miss this. Are you ready? I thought I had his number. I tapped him out at WrestleMania with the whole world watching. Triple H showed me that even the greatest have to regroup and come back even better the next time around.
here is your winner, and still the WWE Champion, Triple 